<clears throat> All right, well, welcome back to a uh, to another video. We got dog over here sleeping, and we got a new bow. So this bow I just picked up is a Hoyt Torvax XT. Now I shot a bunch of different bows. I shot the uh, Elite Terrain. I shot Dark and Consequence. Shot a couple APAs, and I shot a uh, Matthews Phase Four. And I landed on this bow. This bow uh, turned out to be around 950 just for the bow and then all of these other stuff I stole off another bow. Um, I do want to talk a little about this bow and I want to talk about why I got it and why I enjoy this bow a lot. Starting off with some normal specs, we're looking at a actual axle of 30 inches. It's, I measured it, it's like 30 and a half, so whatever. 30 and a half inches, but I do have it backed out just a little bit, so at like 65 pounds. You can get 50 to 60 pounds with this bow. Now, we got a brace height of 6 inches, and it weighs 4 pounds. We have the uh, these new, oh gosh, these Hoyt Torx XT uh, cams. They're actually TXT 3TR cams, and they have a adjustable draw, um, draw length from, it says down here, yeah, from 25 all the way up to 30. Yeah, 25 and a half to 30 inches. So, a little bit of a range in between there, but it's not a lot. So, just be careful with it. And it is only a 30 inch uh, axle to axle. And you can get, it's rated for around 336 feet per second. That's on the website. But with my 26 inch, 26 inch draw length, 64. Five and a half pounds. Um, I'm looking at around 260 uh, feet per second shot out of this bow through a chronograph. So, yeah, I'm loving this bow. So I moved on from a blackout bow from Cabela's, and this bow is a serious upgrade. I chose this bow for a couple reasons. I'm gonna, you know, let you know why. So when I went to Shields, I had in mind the Elite Terrain and the Hoyt Torrex. I shot them both, and the Elite Terrain, I loved it, it was a longer axle to axle, so when I'm doing competitions and tournaments, it would help me. Longer axle to axle, more stability. However, this bow was just dead in the hand. The Elite Terrain, as you fired it off, it had a little bit of that just reverbial vibrations in it, in your hand, and you could feel it. It's not a lot, it's not a lot, trust me, if you want to get the Elite Terrain, I'm saying now, I'm not saying you can't get the Elite Terrain. The Elite Terrain is an amazing bow. Elite did an amazing job designing that bow. And it's a great bow. I would love to own it, and I would love to own this as well. If I owned both bows, which now I'm getting tempted to, the Elite Terrain would end up being a top competition bow with, you know, 30 at the front, 15 at the back. But we gotta save here. So, as I was saying, the Elite Terrain had a little bit more of a verbal, um, just movement in it, and the draw length, or not the draw length, the cam system and the draw was a little bit more aggressive than I like. As you got over the, um, the peak of the cam, it just wanted to stop, and even though it was 70 pounds all the way through, the, both these bows were 70 um, on the dot, and felt like it was 75 pounds, and as you can know, backed it out to 65 pounds, so I can't do 70, so um, if I would have done 65, it would have been more aggressive. Now, putting these against the chronograph with my 400 grain arrow, uh, actually, it's like 330 grain arrow, sorry, uh, the Torx shot faster. Considering it had a smoother cam, I would have thought the Elite Terrain shot it out faster and a longer axle, but the Hoyt Torx beat it by a couple feet per second. A couple feet per second won't matter that much, but still, Faster bow. Um, the grip. Let's talk about the grip of this bow. The grip of this bow, if we're looking over here, it uh, it has a little rubber piece and it fits just perfect. Oh, that's my right hand. It just fits perfectly into my grip, and it really forces you to have that open grip and just let it sit in there. So uh, I'm loving this grip. I might end up getting a different grip, but so far, I'm loving this grip. I've put about 
500, 700 arrows in between it, and uh, through this bow, not in between it, and so far it's feeling amazing. So, let's do a quick overview of what I have, because I got a couple new things out of it. So, starting off, we got the uh, HHA Tetra, or not Tetra, Optimizer Light X. Love this sight. Got it taped out to 90 yards, and uh, so far, it's doing real good. Slapped it on this bow for my old bow, and it's working amazing. New rest, we got the uh, QAD Hunter Ultra rest, and this rest is just amazing compared to my other rest. If you guys uh, looked at my other bow video, you'll see I had a, uh, I think it was a True Glow, and this thing <laughs> blows that out of the park. It's amazing. For 60 bucks, there is really no other rest that you should get. Um, still have the same Trophy Rich Hitman 6 inch, but I took off some weight up here and I took off the little plastic bar thing that was on it. I took that off just because I didn't like it. It looked weird and it added a little bit of weight that I didn't want out in the front. So now with it like that, it's just perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. So. With it on there, it kind of wanted to fall forward, but it wasn't horrible. So I just took it off, and it looks a little bit better. Um, other than that, we just got a nice neon yellow uh, D-loop, and then we have a purple 3 16 um, heap sight. Now, I got purple kind of pinkish, because my girlfriend's favorite color is pinkish purple. So, you know, gotta have a little bit of her on the bow somewhere, because I love her. And uh, that's about it. There was one more thing I wanted to talk about, and then we'll go shooter. But with this uh, optimizer, you really get limited to about 85-ish before I start making contact with my veins on this rest. It's annoying. I don't feel like spending $500 on it new site so if you guys have a way of fixing that um please let me know and i would love to hear that so let's move on to the next thing that i have that is new the next thing is these victory well shields vendetta arrows these are made by victory they're the same exact arrow as the victory vat um, just a standard victory vap. They're carbon fiber, um, and they got uh, 400, 400 spine, 8.2 uh, grams per inch GPI, and then 2.45 uh, interior and 295 exterior. I have these cut down to 25 and a half with a 100 grain field point, field point insert right here, and it's a 930 second. Uh, that matters to you, 100 grains, 22 grain insert, and we're looking at 331 grain arrow shooting out of my whole Torex at 261.7 feet per second. I love these arrows, they're extremely straight, they fly really straight, and they're made by an amazing company, Victory. I love Victory, um, I've shot a couple of Victory arrows before, and these are honestly going to be probably my favorite. You can pick up a pack of six of them. There's six of them for around 54 bucks at Shields, and I got 12 of them, so about $110-ish if you already have field points, but field points are really cheap nowadays, like 9 bucks. They only got about 120 bucks for 12 arrows, that's a pretty good deal. So, uh, yeah, and you've already seen it, we all know and love it, switched over to my thumb button a uh, true ball bone collector thumb button release and I'll be shooting this for a little bit so that's the setup let's go out shoot have a little bit of fun and uh, talk more about this bow alrighty folks how we doing Oy. just got out here and uh, we're shooting about 40 ish yards and uh, got the Torx XT give a little walk down and I'm gonna shoot just six arrows and then we'll pull them and we will shoot and talk. Right now, I'm trying to get the raw, raw feeling of this bow for you and how loud it is. 
I do have a lavalier mic on that camera, so it might be a little loud, but you know, it'll give you the idea. All right, let's go pull those arrows and then we'll come back, shoot again. 65 and a half, 26 inch draw. It is just so steady. You're really dead. And uh, the mic might be picking up the bow a lot. But it is a quiet bow. Definitely the quietest out of the terrain and uh, this Torex. The phase four was definitely a little bit quieter, but I mean, this bow is just quiet. Whew. These arrows are nice too. That was a good setup. And the draw cycle is really smooth. Like right there is the let off and that back wall is just firm. So you can really get to pushing and pulling. And I'll do one shot where, honestly I'm not even aiming, but I'll do one shot where I'm barely grabbing the bow and I'm letting it do its thing and you'll see uh, pretty much how dead it is in the hand. Let's do that. I mean, basically just jumps a little bit forward and then comes right back. So, I'm gonna grab the, uh, grab it this time and I'll feel some vibrations with everything set up. And we do have some vibration or dampeners down here. And there were some that came in the limb pockets, but uh, I put them on the blackout bow because that's going to my cousin. And um, he needs it more than this bow, trust me. Okay, grab it. Try not to torque it. Yeah, honestly, not much vibration that I'm feeling right there. This whole setup is gonna run you about, oh, 1,300-ish. The sight's probably the most expensive part, and so are the arrows, but other than that, it's not that expensive. 1,300, 1,400 you could do. And um, this is an amazing beginner, intermediate bow. Um, it's a great bow just to get into it. Oh, man. It's a singer, it's fast. If you want to get into archery, have a little bit more money than say I did when I first started, and you think you'll enjoy it, the uh, Torex, Torex XT, and um, Elite Terrain, and the, if 
you're a little bit smaller, the Darton Consequence are going to be probably your best bet. Um, they make Torex, which doesn't have this rolling. It just has a standard um, slide through. And it's around 600 bucks, 700 bucks. This one has the sliders, a couple more cool things in the uh, cam system and limbs. But other than that, basically the same bow for 900. And um, I did want the rollers, might as well have this bow for a long time. So got the Torx XT. They also make the long draw XT, which gets out to, I, think, I wanna say 35 inches of draw length, which is more than enough for really anybody. And uh, yeah. Let's see this shot. So steady. Every time I shoot this, it is just a fun, fun bow to shoot. Um, there is maybe just a little bit of an issue with the sight. That's the only thing I can find so far. And um, I mean, Hoyt just does a great job with their bows. This bow is a couple years old, but it's still extremely good. Um, all their bows are made in Utah, made in the USA. It's a uh, Utah run company. And I think Matthews is, is I want to say Colorado maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure where Matthews is located. Someone let me know. I'm uneducated. But uh, this bow is just so steady. I don't know if you can tell, but it is so steady and dead. Man, it's a dang good shooting bow. I'm going to be extremely happy going out hunting with this since it is a shorter axle axle only 30 inches i'm only five foot five five foot six on a good day so this is more than i need and um i'll be happy shooting targets with it doing uh 3d competitions today i actually have a competition um out of newcastle wyoming so gotta head out for that but uh this ball i'm gonna be extremely happy shooting it it's a really smooth draw cycle jumped up from 50 pounds to 65 it feels extremely doable and i still have a little bit of wiggle room to go up to uh 70 pounds so when i do a little bit stronger i can go out and do that make a new sight tape so uh yeah get a couple more down there Let's see what we think of this i want to watch it I don't know if you can tell, but the cam system of this, super smooth. Maybe I'll come a little bit closer here for the last shot, but um, hopefully I'm not out of frame. Maybe I'll do a little bit of this. <laughs> it's gonna look weird if I'm actually in the frame, but whatever. Yeah, really dead in the hand. So I'll go pull these arrows and um, We'll go back upstairs, talk a little bit more about this bow, and then we'll end it off there. If you do want to end it off here and don't want to watch an outro, don't blame you. I don't really watch outros. Um, I recommend this bow. That's about it. I love this bow. Recommend it. If you can, pick it up. Hoyt Torx XT. Full backing on this bow. And uh, thank you so much to the guys at Shields for getting me set up with this. Gave me a little discount on it, and i um, really, really happy with it. Again, Hoyt does an amazing job. Elite does an amazing job. Don't buy a bow because an influencer said it. I only have 400 subscribers. I'm not an influencer by any means, but um, I'm working on it. And if you guys made it this long, just please, you know, drop a sub. Just past 400 yesterday, guys. I'm so thankful to you guys for getting us. I'm gonna back up a little bit, make sure I'm in frame. Thank you so much for getting us to 400 subscribers, man. Um, it's a big milestone. We got excited when we hit 100 subscribers. Now we're really pushing 500, which is insane. And then we go to 1,000. Thank you guys so much. I'm trying to put out more videos here in South Dakota, but I'm really busy. Um, if you guys do want to get some photos done, if you're in the Deadwood, uh, Rapid City area, hit me up. My uh, website is going to be down in the description below. If you guys are in Deadwood, I'm taking photos out of Woody's uh, Wild West uh, Photography Studio. So if you guys want to get some Old West styled photos, go ahead and 
give them a call or walk in and be like, hey, can I get Gabe to take my photos? I'd be more than happy to give you those photos and get some nice ones for you. And uh, maybe talk a little about archery, a little about fishing, a little about colors. So, uh, speaking of colors, little update. I flipped the side by side. Yeah, it ended up on its side. I know it's side by side, but it ended up on its side. So uh, that's gonna get fixed here in a second. Just waiting on parts and stuff, so. <sighs> no vehicle for me, other than the truck, but they use the truck, my parents, so. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we're actually gonna do the outro now. I said we're gonna go inside, but I don't feel like doing that. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, have a good day. Sarah, if you're watching, I love you with all my heart. Um, just love you and uh, can't wait to see you again. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. As always, peace and love, and uh, God bless y'all. And, uh, mucho besos.